Hi everyone, my name's Anne Marie. Welcome to this Spellbinders card making project. Now, in the last couple of weeks, we've been using the um, Cool Vibes set designed by Stephanie Lowe, and we're now going to introduce other products to use with the set for the next week or so before we move on to another new season from Spellbinders. So, in this episode, we're going to use um one of the products from the cool vibes collection with other spellbinders items everything i do use i shall put on my blog so if i forget to mention something it will be on my blog i can if you've got anything to say i can comment back to you on my blog or on facebook but i can't on youtube but feel free to comment anyway because i do read them all and i love hearing from you so the first thing we're going to be using is the love stamp. Now this is quite a large stamp. Don't just think of this for Valentine's Day. This could be birthday, it could be anniversary, it could be so many things throughout the year. It's a good versatile background. The next thing we're going to be using from Spellbinders is the ornamental doily. Now I know I've used this before. It is one of my favourite dies um, and very versatile. And it's going to go so well with um, everything else. So that's the die that we're using from that set. And then we're going to be using the Sunflower Stamp and Die set from the Cool Vibes collection. Now previously we used it and we coloured it in, but we just used it on a card. So now we're incorporating other things that will enhance this as well. So that's... The the stamp and die set we're going to use now don't forget i just want to point out when you buy a stamp and die set you don't have to use the stamps with the dies you could use the stamps on the own you could use the dies on the own if you've got purpose for that for that particular shape or you could use them together so you've got kind of three ways to use them so don't just think oh i'm using the stamp and die set Okay, I just because some people think you have to use them. Well, you can stamp directly onto card with these stamps. So, anyway, so those are the spellbinders things that we're going to use. Now, the first thing that we need is our base card, and this is a seven by five inch card, my favourite size. And I know I need to kind of branch out and use other sizes, but this is just the best size of real estate as they say for making cards so our base card is ivory and the first thing I'm going to do is the inside now for the inside I've already gone ahead and made the base sheet for this now this it kind of looks a little bit messy and it's kind of supposed to because what I've done is I've used the love stamp around the edges and I've stamped it with a clear embossing power a clear embossing um, ink and then I've used a clear embossing powder over the top and heated it and then I've inked and that enables me to ink over the top and when I rub off the colour, I'm left with what I've stamped. If Does that make sense? So basically, I've stamped using clear ink. And then I've heat embossed it using clear embossing powder. And then I've gone around the edge with a citrus and a yellow ink. And then that has brought out the depth of the stamping and the words. And then I've left the centre clear because you still want to be able to write in it. Now we haven't got what I would say a sentiment stamp for this card because I think the background with the words says it all really. So you're sending your love to somebody. Now on the sunflower set there's a middle size stamp and um, let's just look at it there's the middle size stamp and I've stamped it twice and coloured it in and I've taken it through my Xyron machine now I, I know I've pointed this out before but taking anything like this through the Xyron 
doesn't affect the top of the item. It only adds adhesive underneath. So when you peel the top layer away, it isn't going to take any of the colour away from what you've put through the Xyron. Because the only thing the Xyron is doing is adding adhesive at the back of the item. So I've got two coloured smaller sunflowers. And where I've gone over the edge here and not inked it, I'm going to cover that there like so and then I think I'm going to add the other one at the other side like that and then we've still got room in the centre for a little message and the to and from and that's really pretty inside I think very different the card will still close nicely so we can just use our bone folder to make sure we've still got a nice sharp score along the edge and then we can concentrate on the front of our card now for the base of the card I've cut out a sage green layer of cardstock I've used the Spellbinders set A for this large rectangle and I can peel away the back of my adhesive tape now I could have been really frugal and economical with my card and cut the centre of this away um, but I haven't on this occasion so we'll just get that on the front of our card like so and then our next layer is very similar to the layer that we've created for the inside but for the words we've come in a little bit further and you can see them a little bit clearer than the inside because I've been heavier with the ink and that's emphasised the word love a little bit more so and then the centre this messy circle in the centre you'll see what that's for um, so I've used contrasting colour there now for these inks I've actually used the Aladine inks and I've used the metallic red for the centre and then I've used um, a citrine and the I can't remember what they're called actually I'm sorry the the orange and the yellow um, and then the metallic red for the centre and I'm going to add that on top of our base layer so I can peel my tape away and just add that as a flat layer and you'll see the sage green just highlights that layer. The other thing that I did and I forgot to mention was I tapped a black ink pad all the way around the edge just to give it that little bit of darkness and contrast. The next thing we're going to add is our die cut doily and I've cut this from the same sage green card that we've used on the base layer. I've also embossed it and it's on 3D foam. Now this messy circle, the doil is going to sit over that and then when you look at the card, through the edges of the doily that's die cut, you'll see the contrasting pink rather than the orange. So let's just add our doily like so. So you can see around where it's cut out you can see the pink through it. Next, I've taken the sunflower stamp, the large sunflower stamp. I've stamped it using black stays on ink. I've coloured it in and then I've die cut it. I've got 3D foam on the back and I'm going to simply position this through the centre of our doily. And then I've got two smaller sunflower stamps and I've coloured these in tried to colour them in roughly the same I've got them on 3D foam and I'm going to add them at either side of our sunflower and oops there we go add those to our card now this is a nice bright coloured card 
very spring like and we're going to finish that off with a nice bow and I'm thinking just underneath that oh just at the top oh no decisions decisions I think we'll pop it there for a change I think it oh should we oh no can't make my mind up now I think we'll go here there we go just for something different and that is a nice spring like card it could be wishing somebody lots of love could be telling somebody that you're thinking of them it could just be a note card you could turn it into a congratulations card i know somebody's asked about graduation cards well obviously if it's for a family member um and you love them you could send them this it could be a good luck card it could be a well wishes card it could be so many different occasions it stands up nicely you've got the contrast of the inside to match the outside and the same colours you're not going to need an enlarged envelope it would go in a normal one and it just looks like the bow stuck up a little bit and it isn't so i think that's such a pretty card and i've got to say when i set a project out i'll be very honest sometimes i think oh yeah that'll work that'll work that'll work or that won't work or i don't know if i'm going to be keen on that and when I set this out and started and I started doing the colouring and everything and I thought, oh, I think it's going to be a bit too bright. But I think the green turns it down a lot and it just makes it into a fun spring card. And it does look really pretty. And you could use it in so many different colour ways to suit your own taste if this wasn't your choice. So I like that. I like the sunflower stamps, I must admit. They're really fun to use and colour. So they've all been great of the Cool Vibe set. So I just hope you've enjoyed this. And I hope you enjoy my projects. Please feel free to comment. You can comment on my blog or on Facebook. I can't reply on YouTube. But you can still comment on there if you want. I do read them all and I click like on YouTube. So I'd just like to say thank you so much for watching. And I shall see you next time.